All right, guys, it's uh, me, Slice Notes again. This is literally my eighth time doing this again. And before I continue, let's continue, like, I haven't even started yet. Um, before I, you know, even tell you about the updates, um, um, this is like a little channel update, okay? This is the reason why I haven't been uploading. But there was a glitch on my phone that I couldn't delete or, or like, make videos. There's like an SD card glitch, and now it's kind of gone for some reason. Um, I just recorded just for shits and gigs yesterday, and well, it, it actually worked, and it actually saved, so I just thought that maybe, um, I could just try and maybe do this video finally and upload it. And thank you to those subscribers who have, uh, stuck around even though I haven't been uploading for like three, maybe even four months. Um, I really appreciate that. Um, so here's the problem though, okay? I record and upload from my phone. My laptop sucks, and I don't have, like, an actual camera. Um, but the quality on this is actually pretty good. Um... Uh, like the phone is the MyTouch Q, and it records up to 720p. So it's actually pretty good. Um, it just kind of sucks. I mean, it is slow in some parts, but you know, um, overall, I mean, I'm just kind of happy it, like, you know, I could just like finally, you know, like record again and make more videos. Um, I have plenty uh, more things I have coming up. I'll probably do like um, a top 10 to 20 favorite movies of all time. Maybe um, I'll probably do like a video of you know, like me talking about um, you know. Like myself, you know, for you guys to get to know me, maybe. Uh, first off, my name is Lewis. You know, just so, you know, just comment down if you're gonna say something like, like, oh, like nice vid, Lewis, or something like that. Just whatever. Like, you know, just point is like my name is Lewis. Um, um, I kind of want to get partnered. You know, I didn't go on YouTube just to get partnered. Like the way how I look at it, you know, if you enjoy doing something, you might as well just get paid for it as well. And that's like the great thing about YouTube, but. Um, but here's the reason why I want to get partner. One, get a new camera. Two, uh, get a PC, okay? I want to save up to get an Alienware X51, and that'll cost up to, like, seven to $800, maybe. Depends which one I get with all the processors and memory. Um, that's pretty much about it. Um, so, yeah, you know, like, I'm just going to make, like, a crap load of videos. I mean, I'm not going to spam whore you guys. I'm not going to blow up your cell boxes and, like, you know, just video bump if that's still around. And I'm just, I wasn't really too sure how that worked. Um, but yeah, you know, I'll probably try and make a video at least once every two or three days, probably. Um, I'm also gonna do some movie reviews. So, you know, get prepared for that. So, let's just go, uh, with the regular, uh, Blu-rays. Okay, first up, I got this, I got this and that, um, Family Guy, something, something, Dark Side. See, a little glare right there, I have the lamp right next to it. Um, got that. Then after I got the, um, the A-Team with the slipcover, too. Um, I actually got these, god damn, I say, um, too much, god damn. Um, I got these two from GameStop, and they're pretty cheap, too. I got the A-Team for around $11, and something, something dark side for around $6, so, I mean, I, can, I guess it's alright. Um, shit, I can never plan on my videos, alright. But, but, you know... It's pretty good deal compared to how it was before. Like before, um, Best Buy, not Best Buy, shit. Uh, games that would sell Blu-rays for up to like twenty dollars, and that's for like something like you get for like eight dollars, like uh, like the Superman Blu-ray. That was pretty expensive, but now I think they got it back on track. And to show how long it's been since I literally ch like made a video, and I even tried to make up like a video a long time ago too. Uh, the last time I tried was about like a week ago, and it just went, and like when I'm just like done recording, it just said, please check SD card, and like, you know, even though it's still there, and I have about like three gigs left, so it just doesn't go. Um, I actually got this in the, in the Best Buy upgrade and, and save. Uh, I got this for free, eh, technically, because, you know, it was $5 off when I got the, but like the Best Buy upgrade and save. This was actually the last time I wanted to go get it. Um, this week, like, they have it back again. I'll probably trade some DVDs in. And, yeah, it's pretty much about it. The Woman in Black. Oh, yeah, and then I also had, like, a $5 gift card, so... That's pretty cool. Um, I can't wait to go see this, th because this is PG-13. I kind of learned my lesson from... Sin um, not from Sinister, uh, from, uh... Insidious, that just because it's rated PG-13 doesn't mean it could be scary still, so... I can't wait to go see this. You know, that'll be cool. So... Like, you know, for the updates, I got one digibook, my very, very st um, digibook, and I got three steelbooks. First one is the Citizen Kane digibook. I thought that they stopped making these already. Oh, shit, it's about to fall. Okay, um, talking about, like, the little lamp there I got for lighting. Um, no, these was, uh, this was actually at uh, Sam's Club for around $18. Uh, pretty great deal, considering on Amazon, uh, or at least at the time I got it, um, it was around, like, $30 to $35. And you know what? I don't want to risk it. 
And for some reason, Sam's Club now is Digibooks. Like, every, like, month or whatever, like, they always take, um, now, like, the last Digibooks, and they always add new ones. Like, at one point, they actually had, like, the, like, the Torah, 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 uh, Digibook. They also had the, uh, the Rocky 1 Digibook, but some of those were kind of a rip-off. Like, the, like, the Rocky Digibook was around $20, and on Amazon, it was, like, around 10 or 15 So, I was like, eh, whatever. But this was a pretty good deal. You know, this movie came out, like, in the 1930s, so... Come out to go see it, you know, see how, how good, like, the quality is, and I don't even know what this movie's about, so hopefully that would be a good watch. So now on to the Steelbooks. First up, got the last, uh, Born movie, well, part three, uh, Born Ultimatum. I just pretty much have, like, all the Target exclusive Steelbooks, I'm only missing two, and that's, uh, Django Unchained. And hopefully, like, and hopefully, like, you know, Target's gonna stock up a whole lot, uh, because, like, you know, like, if they did that with all the Bourne movies, because, like, to this day, I still see the Bourne Legacy Steelbook, uh, just lying around. Um, you know, I'm just hoping that they could do that with Django and Chain because I really want that movie. And especially because it's a Steelbook, and I just looked at the Steelbook, and it was just sexy. It just looked awesome. So, I got the whole, uh, Bourne trilogy and Steelbook. Um, you know, um, by the way, um... There will be unboxings of both Born 3 and uh, E.T. in separate videos, in two separate videos for these two. So, yeah, that will basically be about that. So let's just move that over there. Okay, so, hang on, let me just make the last one a surprise. Well, not really a surprise, a lot of people already have it, but whatever. Um, okay, so here's this one, uh, E.T. I thought that this that they would actually run out by now, or but I guess not. I mean, like a lot of people went for the Best Buy Digibook. But I'm happy with the Steelbook. Um, I was actually pretty um, happy I got this at the right time. This is a uh, fifteen dollars on sale at one point. So yeah, last time I saw this movie was when I was like four or five. It was a long time ago. So maybe after I I uh, do an unboxing video, I'll probably like you know just go ahead and you know just watch it. Fuck it. That's the whole fucking point. All right, so let's just move that there. Now this one was a pretty funny story how I got it. The Dark Knight Rises steelbook. I actually got this in in January, and this technically was supposed to be in my uh, Christmas update because because like this was actually a Christmas gift, but like my mom forgot to wrap it, and she even forgot that she had it in the first place. Uh, so you know, like she just left it hiding in her room because she knew I really wanted this, and she really knew because she's not really familiar with like the whole steelbooks thing. And yeah, I was really happy to get this. Just. Like, you know how, like, you see, like, a toddler... Not really a toddler. Well, actually, no, maybe a toddler, maybe. Um, I understand, like, the story of Santa Claus, and, like, and, like he or she sees one at a mall or whatever, and you just see, like, their face smile. That's just my face when I finally saw this. Because I knew, like, by the time it was January, like, some... Like, most um, Best Buys... Like, some Best Buys, like, still had this, but, like, most Best Buys ran out of this. I was just really happy with it. Um... Here's, like, a bad thing about it, though. I mean, like, I mean, like, you know, there's nothing wrong with the steelbook. I mean, like, I actually do like the artwork, even though it is kind of plain. It's basically, like, the poster on a steelbook. Um, I guess, like, something must have happened during shipping or something like that. Because, like, in the spine, like, like, it looks fine, and that's good. But if you actually kind of, like, just, like, spread it out a little bit, you can actually break the spine. Like, you really can't see it because, well, you could kind of see it. It's kind of a bit spread out. It's a little bit up and then a bit down. Well, it's just by a little bit, no biggie, but but like I'm just kind of like just taking care of it, um, just with all my heart basically because I really love this movie. I love Christopher Nolan, and it's because of him that he inspired me to become a director when I grew up. And yeah, that's basically about it. So thank you guys for sticking around even though I was gone. So see you on the next video. Bye.